is the sentence. I mean, look, there's nothing to be embarrassed about this. Death is the sentence. Here's a story you won't see anywhere else. A Muslim scholar says killing homosexuals is the compassionate thing to do. And he's just hours away from speaking at an Islamic center right here in Central Florida. Channel 9's Field Sutton's been trying to find out why the group invited him to Sanford. Off camera, one of the people who is a member here told me that Sheikh Farouk Saskalashvar's speech last night on women's issues was well received and not particularly controversial. But we already know that many people in the Sanford area and around Central Florida are upset about what is coming tonight. Yeah, I'll ask him. Seminole County resident Alan Cornman told Eyewitness News he couldn't believe what a simple Google search turned up about the man speaking at this Islamic center tonight. It's appalling. In fact, it's inciting violence against against gays, and I find that reprehensible. Dr. Farouk Sekhalishvar lives in Iran, according to his online bio, and he's been condemning homosexuals since at least 2013. Death is the sentence. I mean, look, there's nothing to be embarrassed about this. Death is the sentence. He admits the Islamic death sentence applies in limited circumstances and is not applicable under U.S. law. But he also says the only way gays and lesbians can be forgiven is to die. Well, we have to have that compassion for people. With homosexual, is the same. Out of compassion, let's get rid of him now. I asked Reverend Brian Fulwider of the Interfaith Council of Central Florida what he thinks about Sakalashvar's rhetoric. These issues around homosexuality um, and, and the, the crying of it or denouncing of it by religion takes away often from our really important tasks of helping our community. He told me he wishes the congregations would focus on helping the poor, the homeless, and the abused instead of persecuting a group that can take care of itself. In Sanford Field Sutton, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now, in the past hour, we spoke with one of the leaders from the Husseini Islamic Center, and he says he believes the center has a right to have anyone speak on any topic. And he emphasized it's a private event.